Hey everyone again, this is Jeremy, aka Mr. W from the forums. I'm making this video today to explain how a degauss coil works and why we may need to use it occasionally in an arcade hobby. As uh, most of you probably know, an arcade monitor, CRT monitor, and also a CRT television set in your house um, works by shooting electrons across the screen. Now, because of that, this is subject to outside magnetic interference. And um, that could be caused by a speaker nearby, another machine next to that machine that has some kind of interference. Even wires in your wall can cause problems. Um, and on top of that, the magnetic field of the earth itself can cause different issues with your screen. And what happens is it will cause different colored splotches on your monitor, which is really annoying and makes it very hard to enjoy your game when you're playing. Uh, many of you have seen this. Um, in some cases, you'll see that the magnetic field of the earth is causing it. If you rotate the machine, the color, the splotch will move with the machine. In some, people, some of your cases where you have the machine position can actually be what's causing the interference in the first place. And in that case, a lot of times the degauss coil won't work, but you can try it. Now I have right here, this is a degauss coil I work. I work with. Um, I got this off eBay real cheap compared to the professional ones you might see. The solid black ones are a little bigger, um, but it works just as well. It does the same job. Got it off eBay. Um, when we come back, I got two machines that I can show you. And my X Men here has got some splotches on it. I'll try my best to show them to you before I clear it up. I also have my Frogger cocktail here, which is affected by the magnetic field of the earth. I want to show you the color splashes changing when I rotate the machine. Um, the, a lot of times if you have a machine that's been in the same spot for years and years and years and you, the degauss coil doesn't work on it, it's because the magnetic field of the earth has been working on it for so long that it just it can't be corrected by the coil. In that case you have to move the machine wait an extended period of time and then try to degauss it again. Sometimes I've even heard of machines where it couldn't be corrected at all and they had to replace the monitor. That's an extreme circumstance. But when we come back, I'm going to show you the Frogger cocktail first with the, with the interference from the magnetic field and how it moves. And then I'm going to show you how to, we're going to attempt to degauss it and I'm going to show you how to degauss the X-Men also so I get rid of those splotches. Alright, see you when I come back. Alright guys, I'm back. Here's my uh, Frogger cocktail table, as you can see. And what I want you to look at are these numbers up here as I zoom in on them. Those are supposed to be red. And what you're gonna see is that they're actually orangish. And it's, can't really see it on the screen, but the area around it is purple instead of blue right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna rotate the machine a little bit. Pay attention to those numbers and you'll see that they turn red as I rotate the machine. All right, let me zoom in there. All right, so as you can see, they're red now. All I did was turn the machine. Now, as I said, that's because of magnetic interference from the Earth, the Earth's magnetic field, because this machine sat in the same position, the same orientation for so long before I moved it in this, this room and put it in the orientation I have it in now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rotate it back and we're gonna see if we can get it to the colors to degauss out. It might not work. And I'll show you if it doesn't work, then there's a good example for you. All right, so here we go. As you can see, they're right, orange so I right now. I just used a Dzos coil when I had the video cut off, and as you can see, the letters are, or the numbers are now red. So it did work in this case. Now, when I come back in another second, I'm gonna have the X Men set up so I can show you that, and I will show you a full view of how to use that coil. So, I'll come back in just All a right, second. So here we are with my X Men on. I turned the lights off so I can show you better the splotches. And you'll see them here in a second when the screen turns blue. Kind of see on the edge there, it's kind of purple. It's kind of hard to show, but there are some splotches on the screen, especially down there in the corner. And you can kind of see it better there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna zoom out here. I'm gonna turn the lights back on. I'm gonna show you how to use this coil properly. this back as far as I can to show you. Alright. So 
here's our coil. Coil right here. What you want to do is, these are going to have a switch on it, all right? What you want to do is take it and go in a circular motion and walk away from the machine until it doesn't affect the screen anymore. Then you can cut the coil off. So let me show you how to do that. Here we go. I'm going to turn it on. See the screen? Do the circles. Take it far enough away and then cut it off. And that's how you degauss a screen. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Appreciate it. See you next time.